the Great Wall of Regina is it's it's a ten panelled artwork. Uh, each panel contains forty plaster casts taken from women's genitals. The reason it's called the Great Wall of Vagina is because it's a pun on the Great Wall of China, obviously, and it's because when you're presenting a message which is uncomfortable for people, if you use humor, and it's a pun, so it kind of gets past people's sort of natural resistance. I think medical words like vulva and stuff make some people feel uncomfortable, but Great Wall of Vagina is funny, and you kind of go, oh, this is interesting, I want to find out about that. And it, it just seems to have worked. It's kind of managed to get past people's defenses and um, they look at it and hopefully learn something. I created a artwork for a sex museum, which was briefly in London uh, a few years ago. And while I was casting uh, the women for this piece, they were expressing how much anxiety they had about their genitals. They were saying, oh, I wish mine looked like that one. And I'm like, why do you want yours to look like that one? What's, what's wrong with your one? And I realized that so many women had anxieties about their genitals, but there was no way for them to go to see what other women looked like. So that, if you like, was the inspiration for it. The thing about being a man, I think in the, in the end, it's been helpful for this project. I think if you, if you consider that men are half the problem, or probably more than half the problem, you know, it's, 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 they're the ones that say nasty things a lot about, you know, women's genitals. There's a lot of jokes about it and nasty parting shots from former boyfriends or whatever. You know, it's kind of like, we're, they're, the, they're the problem. They need the ones that need to be educated around stop being so horrible to women. And, you know, by a man having to do it, I think it makes it much more accessible to men. They can't just dismiss it as a feminist artwork, even though it's okay if men can do feminist artworks. But it's in a way they have to pay more attention to it. They can't just go, bah. So I think that kind of probably helps, actually. There was no real selection process. There was more encouraging. So anyone that turned up to do it would, would get cast. There was no, like, no, you can't do it thing. Um, I just left it open. I, I, I did, if you like, target certain groups. So if I found someone who was part of a group, if they were younger people or they were part of a, um, a trans community, then I would get them to act as spokespeople for me in a way and try to encourage more people from different areas. And, you know, I wanted to be as broad as possible. It, went, it goes from 18 to uh, 76. It was harder to get more diverse people, so I, I just stuck at it. One reason it took five years was to make sure it was inclusive as possible. Generally, the reaction's been terrific. People really get behind it, which is great. They, you know, it's, it seems to straddle so many bound, you know, areas, like it's sort of, it's got medical purposes, it's got psychological purposes. And for me, as an artist, it's an artwork. Some people just stare at it for hours, other people have come and looked at it and left crying. So I guess it has a profound effect on the people that, that, that see it, which for me as the artist is it's pretty, it's pretty great. You know, I guess eroticism is in the mind of whoever's looking at it, so I think for some people they probably find it highly stimulating. That wasn't the intention, you know, so what kind of art is it? It's socio-political art. It's trying to, 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 to change the world. I hope Londoners will take away from the exhibition uh, the idea that there is no one model of of beauty in anything, and that goes for genitals as well. You know, that when, when you've seen what 400 women look like, and all next to each other, there's nowhere else in the world you can compare 400 women, 400 women together. I hope they will go, you know what? No matter what you've got down there, you're normal.